Theory of Spontaneous Generation Early Greek thinkers thought units of life called spores were transferred to different planets including Earth. It was believed that life came out of decaying and rotting matter like straw, mud, etc. This theory of spontaneous generation was dismissed as it did not answer how the first life came on Earth. Chemical evolution. Operain of Russia and Haldane of England proposed that the first form of life could have come from pre-existing non-living organic molecule, RNA proteins, etc. That is, formation of organic molecules from inorganic constituents. The conditions on Earth were high temperature, volcanic storms reducing atmosphere containing CH4, NH3, etc. In 1953, S.L. Miller created similar conditions in a laboratory. He created electric discharge in a closed flask containing CH4, N2, NH3 and water vapor at 800 degrees centigrade. Amino acids were formed and also formation of sugars, nitrogen bases, pigment and fats were observed. Analysis of meteorite content also revealed similar compounds indicating similar processes are occurring elsewhere in space. This theory was more or less accepted. Biogenesis The first non-cellular forms of life could have originated 3 billion years back. They would have been molecules like RNA, proteins, polysaccharides, etc. These capsules reproduced the molecules. These were probably single cells. All life forms were in water environment only. That is, the first form of life arose slowly through evolutionary forces from non-living molecules is accepted. <laughs>